It looks like it's going to be a very wet Christmas on the West Coast. A powerful storm has already dumped massive amounts of rain in parts of Southern California, raising fears of mudslides. CBS News national correspondent Ben Tracy is in La Cañada, Flint Ridge, California with the latest. Good morning, Ben. Good morning, Rebecca. Very soggy morning out here, and the folks in this neighborhood are preparing for the worst. This is basically a community sandbag truck. You can come down from your house, grab your burlap sack, fill it up with sand. And the reason for that is it's basically been raining here since last Thursday, and of course the concern are mudslides. The hillsides around here are just saturated, and at any moment that mud could come flowing down into people's homes. But you know, this wicked weather is not just a problem here in California. It's hitting the entire West Coast. From the all too slick streets in Spokane, Washington, to the waterlogged roadways of Sacramento, California. Pretty wild, I'll tell you. It's in the west, the weather outside is frightful. The roar of the wind was horrible. We were covering our ears and it was awful. Those winds near Seattle snapped power lines and sent a tree crashing through the roof of this home. This is done. There's no rebuilding this one. This series of storms is being caused by a huge plume of subtropical moisture stretching all the way from Asia. It's mixing with a low pressure system that's slamming it into the Pacific coast, dumping up to five to 10 feet of snow in the Sierras and triggering avalanche warnings. Near Los Angeles, sandbags are once again filling their role, trying to keep runoff from hillsides from running into nearby homes. We are expecting a little grandchild, so it's going to be at any moment. It, so if it's on edge, uh, we want to be able to get out when we need to. Flash flood watches are now in effect for areas burned by the massive station fire 16 months ago. It charred more than 160,000 acres, leaving them prone to mudslides. The ground is now saturated from these rains that just won't quit. Uh, they were looking at anywhere up to 20 inches over the next uh, three or four days. Now the good, the good news is we're catching a bit of a break when it comes to the rain right now. We're not supposed to see much in the way of rain today. It's supposed to return tonight. The worst of the storms expected to hit tomorrow into Wednesday. And Rebecca, we're not expecting to see any sunshine around here until about Thursday morning. CBS's Ben Tracy, thanks.